Spence supposed to be fighting Keith Thurman at 154 pounds. No titles involved. Fight supposed to be in April. Let's talk about it. Like you lost another one. What's going on, YouTube? Man, I'm your host, Big Money Pal, and this is Big Money Boxing. Now, look, Spence is supposed to be fighting, right? Keith Thurman at 154 pounds, and of course, no titles involved. The reason why no titles involved because his stable mate, uh, Charlo. Uh, Jamel Charlo has all the belts. You know, he undisputed 154 pounds. Now, I know that this is a shocker to a lot of people, right? It's a lot of people. I got all my good people hitting me up on the side. You feel me? Like, you heard about this? You saw about this? What's your take on this? And I'm going to give it to y'all in a row. And I'm going to break it down to y'all right now because I've been watching a lot of these other guys and these other bloggers and whatnot. And some of them make sense and some of them don't make sense you feel because you know some of them guys is probably like you know what i'm saying got their own personal opinions and biases and whatnot but your boy you know i'm unbiased i'm gonna give it to you raw i'm gonna give it to you real and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you you feel me so now look here right earl spence fighting keith thurman 154 pounds no title no title okay now years back spence said he'll never fight thurman never will fight him all right and when thurman was when he was when he was you feel me? when he was a unified champ wba wbc um he made no issue or no justice to fight earl the true spence free smoke jr big fish he made no you know what i'm saying no 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 effort to fight him all right now after thurman and lost um he came back injured and uh, fought Barrios, lost to Pacquiao, and uh, Jose Cito Lopez, and all like two two year layoffs and this and that and the third. Like you know, no interest to fight him, no interest to fight him. Now to Thurman, in Thurman defense, per his per his word, you know he was hurt, injured. He had to get his get back. You know he needed his tune up. Y'all know how Thurman talk. This is my get back year. This is my get back year, son. This is my geek back here, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all already know how he is. I mean, know how he get down. But yet, he made no effort to fight Thurman. I mean, to fight Spence. Even they on the same, you know, Al, managed by saying, uh, Al Heyman and on the PBC thing. You feel me? But he made no issue to fight Spence. Now, the Spence is unified champ, three belt champ, you know. Big dog, big fish at the 147 pound division. Now, Thurman wants to get all the smoke. What don't make sense is how he fought Barrios after Barrios came from a knockout loss to the much smaller Javante Tank Davis. But we gonna leave that, you know what I'm saying? We gonna leave that one alone, you feel me? Because that's just a whole nother different story within itself. You know what I'm saying? But yet, my man's wanna fight. Now, now he calling for all the shots. Now he trying to call the shots and trying to call everybody out. Even Crawford too. I wanna fight. Spence and Croft, right? Don't make sense. Now Spence, on his hand, you no, know, he wants to be undisputed. He don't want no tune-ups. He don't want no. He don't want any of them type of fights. All right. Now, people are saying, well, why he won't fight Virgil Ortiz or Stanionis, or why he didn't try to fight? Why he didn't try to fight Jerome Boots Ennis? It's simple. The promotions. One. Um. With Virgil Ortiz being with Golden Boy, y'all gotta understand some of the fights are just kind of hard to make. Well, uh, Wild and Fury happened. Yes, that did happen. We gotta look at them fighters though. Them fighters has money behind them to make that fight happen. People are willing to put up big bucks, big dollars to see a Wilder and Fury fight. People not. A promotional company or a promotional or a manager they not trying to they not gonna put them bucks up you know what i'm saying to fight a spence regardless of if it's a mandatory or not unless they gotta go to a purse bid or something like that or it's just just gotta happen you know what i'm saying or it's just like it like it, they ordered the fight they ordered the fight 
that's the only way something like that is going to happen. You feel me? So y'all got to understand that it, it's just not that simple. It's not that simple. Or it's not that easy the way that people think or uh, believe it to be easy. If it was that easy, why Crawford and Spence didn't happen? Promotion, money. Some people just ain't got the money to back them boys up. Now, you know, Crawford said what he said, but on Spence's side, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It, just, it didn't equate the way that it should have or, or made sense to his, to his team. All right? But Thurman, on the other hand, it makes sense. It's an easy fight to make. He ain't got no choice because they going to make him fight him. And... Literally, whether y'all believe it or not, Thurman still can fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still, like, y'all can't discredit the man like he won the Unified World Champion. Like, he didn't beat Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? Like, the man is, uh, like, he, okay, he got dropped by Pacquiao, but he fought Pacquiao to a split decision. A split decision. So he, he won a, a, a good number of them rounds. You feel me? Like, he won a good number of them rounds. To even come back from a knockdown to get a split decision. Like, come on. The man still can box. The man still got power. Yes, he didn't drop a hurt or stop the Barrios, man, because he's not the same fighter he was, you know, uh, five, three, two years ago with all the injuries, the layoffs. The, eh, like, all that stuff kind of makes sense and kind of equates. You feel me? So, he's not, is he, is he the same fighter? No, but he is still a live underdog. Like, Y'all cannot give that man his credit. The man still can box. He's still a student of the game. From the looks of it, he's still be in the gym, working. You know what I'm saying? Getting his, getting his money in, getting that work in. But y'all got it's, it's, it's still a good it's still a good fight to to make. It's a better fight than Crawford Avenesian. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's better than that. All right. But y'all just gotta make it make sense. The fight. Do we want to see other fights? Yes, I would love. I would love to see Spence over Spence and Ennis over Thurman. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I would love to see Stanley Onis or Virgil Ortiz over Thurman. Of course, but when y'all look at the other dynamic of like the Mark and that boy Thurman's gonna talk his. <laughs> you feel me? That boy Thurman gonna talk that talk. He gonna try to get on the Spence skin. He gonna. He gonna he gonna try to sell that fight. Y'all think Boots is gonna sell the fight? No. He ain't. Stanley Onis? No. Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz? No. That promotion is gonna be born. It's, it's gonna be born. Thurman gonna talk. He gonna. Man, Thurman gonna say some wild stuff. Thurman gonna be there to talk his talk and he gonna be there to fight. And he gonna try to hurt Spencer, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and, and do some things to Spence. Right, but he ain't beating Spence. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the breakdown and assessment right now why he ain't gonna beat Spence. One, Spence work rate. That work rate two says what y'all don't. What people don't realize is Spence. Even though people say he don't look spectacular, he ain't flash, he ain't flashy or nothing like that. But Spence, you gonna get the same work rate from round one round 12 the same work rate it ain't gonna change same work rate if it's if he if he's trained to throw 65 to 100 punches around spence is gonna throw them punches and then they all landed with the same amount of force that thudden power he's gonna hurt thurman we already know that thurman get hurt to the body he got hurt by porter to the body and uh what's the guy named uh Kalazu, Kalazu, he got, he gonna get hurt to that body. And what's Spence's favorite thing to do? Go to them good people body. I mean, he gonna go to that boy body and gonna break him down. I see a stoppage between round six and nine. I see a, a stoppage. Now, either he gonna stop him to that body or he gonna beat him up so bad that the corner or the doctor gonna have to stop the fight. Just the way it is. He ain't gonna like knock Thurman down. He ain't gonna put him to sleep. That ain't never been Spence M.O. You feel me? Spence is gonna, he gonna make, he gonna make Thurman question boxing again. He gonna damage, he gonna, y'all see how long it took Thurman, uh, Ugas to get back? He just now getting back. That fight was in April. April 16th to be exact. 
And he just now saying he ready to get some money. He ready to fight again. He got cleared by the doctors. Eight months later, nine months later, he, he just not getting cleared. Man, he going to do some things to that boy, Thurman. He going to hurt Thurman. One of my men, my, my boy Irv, say, man, he just going to be a punching bag for Thurman. And it might be true. But I will say this on Thurman's behalf. Thurman still can box. He's still a liable opponent. Um, he, he got good IQ. He got good feet. He can move. He can, you know what I'm saying? And he still got punching power. He still got punching power. He got he still can he still can thump. That power ain't gonna go nowhere. Everything else might go somewhere. Heart, dedication, will, you know, legs. That you know what I'm saying? That stuff can go somewhere, but that power, he, he still he still got that thing. He still got that. You know what I'm saying? Spence get touched a little bit. But I Spence is gonna get him up out of there. I believe he's gonna get him up out of there. Every box of uh, people that know any, understand about anything about boxing, not no casual boxing fans, they know like man, Spence gonna get him up out of there. He mess around getting him up out of there. He gonna hurt him, gonna stop him, he gonna get him up out of there. And that's and that's how I look at the joint. That's how I see it too. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, always the more, it's still a solid fight. They just gotta make sure that undercard is something decent. Javante Tank Davis on the card was some solid. Was solid. Teofimo Lopez when he fought um Martin on the card was solid. Like he just gotta make sure the undercard is solid. Put some good fights on that undercard. Thurman gonna talk his trash. They gonna fight in Dallas. You know Dallas is gonna show up for Spence. You know they gonna show up for Spence. If I ain't got duty or nothing like that, I'ma be there. You feel me? I gotta show them, I gotta I gotta see it in action. You know what I'm saying? But it's still a solid fight. It's better than Crawford and Ebenezer. No knock on Crawford, you know what I'm saying? I, Crawford's a bad dude. But far as accomplishment wise, come on, Thurman. He only got one loss. One loss on his belt. Um former unified champion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he's accomplished some things in box. You feel me? Like, he, two belts? Come on. He still, a, at one point in time, Thurman was that dude at 147 pounds. When Floyd Mayweather left, and, and, and Danny Garcia and, and Robert Guerrero fought for that vacant title, immediately after that, Thurman challenged him. Now, what I don't appreciate about Thurman and challenge. Spence after Eden got after Spence got his belt from Brooks. Now that's a different story, but we all know people say he ducked him and scared, you know. Spence said as long as he keep winning, keep Thurman gonna stay hurt. He said he gonna retire with that he gonna retire with that belt. You know what I'm saying? But luckily he ain't got that belt no more because Spence and strapped up and got the guys that got the that, that had the belt. But Man, y'all know what it is, man. This is boxing. Um, it's a lot of weird stuff, crazy stuff going on. But at the same time, you got to love it. You, gotta, you ain't got to like it. But it's it's just a crazy game right now. You feel me? But, man, I'm your host, Big Money Pal. And this is Big Money Boxing. And uh, more to follow. You feel me? Looks like you lost another one.